You know, like my first few days of offsetting, it was warm, we were t shirts. As you can see, that is no longer the case. Winter sport is finally here. Kaylee, let's get in there. Say good morning! So, this is Kaylee Manai. Getting ready to start this very long drive, which should be seven, seven and a half. Okay, one thing you don't do is not give up such food. <laughs> So we need food. So I just want to give a really quick update on how things have been going, um, how I've been progressing. In the beginning, I spoke to you guys, so I kind of had two goals. Um, one, learn how to push a box, but two, get stronger. I've had some gains. I've PB'd in my power cleans, huge. So I just had a PB of 95 kilos. Um, and I should say my PB at the beginning was 80 kilos. And the goal is 100 and I feel like I'm right there. So I'm actually super excited about it. I'm working on squatting heavier, all upper body. That's something I don't do very often um, in track. And obviously there's a huge emphasis on upper body in bobsled. Um, and it, and I, it, you can see it, you can see the gains. Um, I've, every time I come home at the track, all my track friends are kind of like, you know, like, hey girl, you looking thick, you so. And it's funny because I feel like coming into the sport, I didn't fully respect how much strength plays a role. I feel like before I had an idea of, okay, this is what I want to do, but it's like I wasn't strong enough to find the positions behind the sled. It's definitely been a process where as my strength has increased, I've definitely seen my pushing and my pushing technique get better. Each day for training, we only get two runs a day. So what's interesting about that is as I've been trying to learn how to push a bobsled, I've had very limited touches behind the sled like very limited reps and I would say like I'm maybe sliding two to three times within a week so I'm essentially only getting four efforts in a week four or six efforts in a week to try and perfect my technique um, to try and work on things um, which is difficult like I'm used to being you know at a track and being able to get you know if we have a hard day in hurdles I'm gonna be getting an eight reps in eight efforts in in one day I know that when I get an opportunity or when I get a chance to be behind the sled I have to bring a hundred percent because there's only two for the day like that's it like it's gonna be done after that it's really about being ready and um, knowing what you want to work on and giving it a hundred percent within that moment um, which has been good because I feel like I typically am the type of person who gets better through a practice and kind of my first ones aren't that good but my last ones are really good but I've had to learn how to bring that intensity right off the bat and you know with every effort make it count. There is a lot of behind the scenes work that goes in with ball sledding. There is like getting the sled ready, putting the runners on, loading the sled. We polish runners before every single race and that is a process that takes sometimes uh, to four hours. Um, so there's a lot of like manual strenuous work that goes in behind the scenes like you know outside of just competing and outside of training. In the beginning I was always getting in the way or just doing something wrong which is hard because I'm a little bit of a perfectionist and you know when someone's like no 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 not like that and not do that and you're obviously working with you know expensive equipment um and I, I like to be good at everything that I do. <laughs> so I read a quote one time where it said you know the way you do anything is the way you do everything and I try to approach everything that I do with excellence like I the smallest little stupidest thing I try to be all about it so I think that's why I like learning and being like really a part of it and making sure like I'm like carrying my weight and doing all that stuff was really important to me um, because uh, like I said it's like if I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it all in I'm gonna do it a hundred percent you know the first few World Cups I wasn't racing and it was hard it was hard to be out there not racing and you know seeing everybody else competing and it's like I get cabin fever I like I do sport because I love competing. 
Like, I love it. <laughs> That's what I do it for. Last World Cup that we had was in Eagles, Austria, which was my first World Cup experience. Really throws down the gauntlet to our double Olympic okay. champion, Kaylee Humphreys of Canada. Got two North American sleds in the top three. Humphreys with Felicia George making her first World Cup start as a break woman. You've got a double Olympic champion from the Winter Games in the front, a double summer Olympian sprinter in the back seat. I was surprised at how calm I felt. <laughs> Coming to the line knowing like, you know, I've been putting in work and um, it is what it is now. Like I have what I have and this is a race day and you just gotta let it loose. And I think, especially because I haven't been racing for so long, I just had all this pent up energy. Like, I just wanna like freaking do it. Um, but it was cool, I'm, I'm excited that I got the opportunity to race and I'm excited to hopefully get more opportunities to race. I I believe I opened some eyes. You know, uh, people see this little skinny check girl. Don't really think much of her. Um, but you know, I, I wanna make sure that my name is in the equation. And we have three more World Cups, and then they'll be selecting the team. And then the games are in February, guys. Everything is happening so fast, it's crazy. But it's honestly been a really, really, really amazing experience. Um, and I think uh, just the mental state that it's put me in has been really amazing. Where, like I said, where everything's new and you're totally out of your comfort zone, you have to constantly challenge yourself. Challenge yourself. You know, either you quiver or what's what's. <laughs> Either you crumble, oh, either you crumble under the pressure or you rise. And, uh, you know, I'm hoping to continue to rise. Thanks, guys. <laughs>